Think for a second about what happens when one of the most important human traits combines with a dark personality and both merge into a single trait. That's exactly what happens with dark empaths. So it's really common to hear people talk of this personality type as the most dangerous ever. I know it sounds like a scary lot, and indeed it can be. But today's video will help you put things in perspective, especially when it comes to being able to tell a dark empath and a narcissist apart. Welcome to our channel, where we talk about the journey to self-development. If you're new here, we trust you're going to love this video. And if you're a subscriber, thank you for coming back. Without further ado, here we go. It's really great to have you on with us today. And this video is more of a continuation of what you might call an enlightening series. There are a couple of other videos I did clearing the confusion between narcissism, psychopathy, and sociopathy. But I quickly realized that there was a personality type fewer people were talking about and thought, why not? It's understandable how very few people know and talk about this because the term dark empath is relatively new. Unlike narcissism, which sometimes gets thrown around a little too often, and most of the time, erroneously. So while narcissism and dark empathy can seem like the same in one, these are two different traits that must be approached uniquely. I'll also be sharing tips on how you can tell if you're a dark empath later in the video, so stick around for that. And maybe this is your first time ever hearing the term dark empath, and so it's hard for you to understand how such a beautiful thing like empathy can exist side by side in unpleasant adjective. It's kind of sad to admit, but yes, empathy can have a dark side. Like empaths, dark empaths are great at showing affection and care, but in a way that's deeply influenced by manipulation. So this definition in itself helps you see the subtle distinction between dark empathy and narcissism. If you've seen the other videos on narcissism, then you know that narcissists tend to dismiss the feelings of others. Dark empaths, on the other hand, can understand the emotions of others, but the dark empath's end goal is to gain power and control. And that's the exact point where dark empathy and narcissism meet. A narcissist has a heightened sense of self and craves the need to feel superior. A dark empath expresses cognitive empathy as opposed to emotional empathy to manipulate or bully, but with the same goal of maintaining power and control. If you're thinking, so does this mean narcissism is a type of dark empathy? Not exactly. Narcissism is more of a core trait of dark empathy alongside psychopathy and Machiavellianism. So it might be safe to say that all dark empaths are narcissists, but not all narcissists are dark empaths. Hopefully that didn't come out confusing. And if it did, take a moment to ponder on the statement. Maybe pause the video here and think about narcissism as one of the three signs a dark empath is likely to display. Now, you might also be thinking, if both narcissists and dark empaths rely on dominating people, what happens if these people meet each other or manage to develop a connection? First of all, it'll be really hard for a narcissist to get along with their dark empath buddy. We're talking about two personalities that thrive on dominance and always want people to do their bidding. So who exactly is going to be willing to bend for the other? Remember that dark empaths have a top-notch level of cognitive empathy and can be very perceptive of the feelings of others. So they'll find it super easy to identify a narcissist and build a relationship for future gains. Think of it as a dog-eat-dog -dog universe full of manipulation, selfishness, and even charm. They're both interested in taking the lead and want others to succumb to their desires. But if you ask me, between both of them, a narcissist is more likely to display greater ruthlessness simply to have things go their way. Their lack of empathy and excessive arrogance puts them in a position where they're willing to stop at nothing until they have things how they prefer. 
and I don't mean this to make dark empaths sound less brutal. These people can be just as stubborn too, but their ability to gauge emotions creates a subtle difference. If a dark empath starts to feel guilty for the harm they're causing, they'll likely pull back, but only temporarily, and most likely because they're likely plotting other ways to still get whatever it is that they want. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit that subscribe button for more content about self-development and improving your life. It really helps our new channel, and your kindness will go a long way. Another common trait between narcissists and dark empaths is their love for lies. They've perfected the act so well, it's their second nature. If you've ever been around a narcissist, chances are you've caught them telling lies upon lies, boasting about non-existent achievements, simply to leave you in admiration. In the same way, dark empaths are skilled in fabricating sweet lies to win the victim's compassion. And weaving these false stories comes naturally to them because they know literally everything it takes to thrive as a manipulator. So for both categories, lying is just one of those things they must do to get what they want. We all know someone who tells way too exaggerated tales all the time or displays false kindness. Notice their other behavioral patterns and you just might see traces of narcissism or dark empathy. Another thing I think is really important not to leave out of this conversation is charm as a primary trait of both the narcissist and dark empath. These people tend to be charismatic. They know this and take advantage of this to draw people into their manipulative schemes. One of the top most behaviors that attract victims to narcissists and dark empaths is their confidence. You might be excited about being friends with this charming, charismatic person. Meanwhile, they're simply out to use you. Surprisingly, a dark empath and a narcissist can end up being an ideal match. I mean, one person wants to be constantly adored, while the other possesses enough patience and compassion to deliver these praises, although pretentiously. The narcissist is more likely to get more out of the relationship, but in the end, toxicity kills whatever attraction there was. They figure their opponents in the same game and everything else crashes. Here's something to take away. Dark empaths naturally come off as more invested in relationships compared to narcissists, but this does not change the motivation behind the dark empath's affection. They simply want to gain control in the relationship and this is often easy because of their high level of emotional intelligence. The dark empath will excel at reading you and understand your perspective. They may even be critical of themselves while at it, but always remember that it's all calculated and no part of the connection is genuine. It's easy to swiftly notice these signs in others, but what if you're the dark empath in the relationship? You might miss out on traits of dark empathy in yourself because of how subconsciously these signs happen. Honestly ask yourself if you are the person who easily connects with others simply to get them to submit their free will. You enter into relationships with people and are simply too obsessed with getting them to lower their guard. You might also be someone who is terrible at handling criticism and see every correction as a reflection of your person. Dark empaths also sometimes struggle with self-esteem, which can make them resort to bullying or gossiping to get what they want. Something else to look out for is your ability to read people and understand their thoughts or feelings in a particular circumstance. Of course, this trait can be related to a bunch of other stuff, so look out for it, alongside other signs I've talked about. Whether or not dark empaths can change is an entirely different topic of its own. But I believe that therapeutic interventions always go a long way. As always, feel free to share your thoughts on the topic. And particularly, I'd like to know in the comments if you think you have any time encountered a dark empath. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And if you find this information useful, check out this other video from our channel too. Until next time, we wish you a happy, 
and healthy day.